everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Jessica and today I have my update for throwback 30 this is a little early in the month but I am trying to get my inventory stuff done there's a lot going on here in my personal life um, that just needs to be handled so I'm just trying to finagle this month in any way I can to get it all in so some of these updates are going to be a little out of order but it is what it is, and I have to do it in a way that my intros go up on the correct days. Not too soon. I can't finagle those intros, but we are going to just do the best that we can here on this channel of craziness. So Throwback 30 is a project that I created years ago that gives you 30 projects in one. So you get to pick one prompt from 30 different projects that have been within the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group. It just gives you a way to do all the projects without doing all of the projects because there's just too many for all of us to do and this was my compromise. It is a year long, started on July 28th of 2023, we'll go till July 20, July 28th of 2024 if I can words today and then we will vote on some new stuff for next year and, um, and then we will start it all over again. Let's do this. I have three rollouts and I have three that I am going to discuss that I have some good progress on. So let's get the rollouts out of the way first. The first one is Beauty A to Z. I decided to do a random letter generator because otherwise you could just pick whatever product you want and say it's for letters such and such. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted it to be a little bit more random. So I got the letter C with the random letter generator. I picked the Curl Wow Hooked 100% Clean Shampoo with Root Locking Technology. I actually really liked this shampoo a whole lot. I felt like it really cleaned my hair without stripping it. And um, it was just like a lovely scent. It, it was nice all around. It was nice. I would potentially consider repurchasing it in the future, but I don't need to anytime soon because I have a lot of shampoos in my collection right now. But it would go on the list as something that I would possibly be interested in buying if I was ever in need of more shampoo. The next prompt was Size Matters. That was a Pan That Palette theme. I don't remember how many years ago, two, three. I, I'm not really sure. It is a big, awkward, or a big, bulky, or awkward size palette. This is, this is big and awkward. It's not really bulky, it's kind of thin, but it is the Glam Light Pizza Palette. So I decided to pick a shade within this palette just to hit pan on. And you guys have already seen this one because I it was in my Oh My Pants 200. I had to think of the name there for a second. It's been so long, it's like been a few weeks. And I was working on the shade Jalapeno right there. I hit pan on it, that was my goal. So this one is rolling out. I really like the shade and I actually really like the formula of the Glam Light palettes that I have tried thus far. I think I've just done the two pizza palettes. I think those are the only Glam Lights that I own, but the formula is very, very nice. Someday I will pan the pizza palette to completion, but that is not happening this year. And my last rollout is another empty. It was for Skin Is In. So that is any skincare product. Doesn't matter if it's like for your face or your body, as long as it's taking care of your skin. And I chose the Skinology Cosmeceuticals Epiderm Epidermal Repairing Cream. I'm, I'm struggling with words today. I think because it's I'm so cold and you know, you know how that is. There's like snow all over the ground outside. It's just, it's a mess in my world right now. Anywho, I was able to finish this. That was my goal. It is done. I am going to clean out this uh, airless pump and I'm probably gonna put something else in it because I like it. It's got the, you know, the little pump top here. So I'm going to repurpose that once I clean it out. I do that with a lot of packaging that's really cool like that. I'm a strong believer in reduce, reuse, and recycle. Now onto the products that I have some good progress on. I only have three because I've been working on so many projects, so many products that I kind of spread it out a little bit. So the first one is for a nightmare on Panning Street and I chose the prompt carry. That's an item that's a sin not to have in your collection. And this is definitely a sin not to have in my collection. I use this very frequently, especially when my hair is feeling super dry like it has been lately. This is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. It is, it's nice. It's like a leave-in and um, a styler in one. I do still put other stylers in my hair usually, but 
that's mostly all I have in my hair today. I really enjoy this one a whole lot. Making some progress. I just started using this again. Like this was brand new up until about two weeks ago. She's dreaming. Can you hear her making little sounds? Every now and again, her tail will go. So I am at this pink line right here. I love this stuff so much. I'm, I'm making decent progress on it considering I've just kind of cracked this one open like less than a month ago. So this is still gonna take me a few months. But I do think that I will have this done well before the finale. The next prompt is that's expensive. So it's basically anything that's expensive in your collection. And I have the Aveda Scalp Solutions Exfoliating Scalp Treatment, which I really like a whole lot. I had been weighing this, but I do not have my scale back here. Of course, it's in my kitchen. But I can tell just from feeling it, there's hardly any left. If I had to guess, I'm like in this range here because you can't see through it. It's just, it's too thick and opaque. But just from the feel of it, I'm gonna say two, three uses tops, and this one is going to be done. And the last prompt is Women Who Rock, and I chose the prompt Spice Girls, something I really, really, really wanna pan. I think that's how it went. I chose this Buxom Dolly Danger Plump Line Lip Liner because I have two of them. So I really would like to get one or no, I really, really, really want to get one out of my collection. I had to do it in Spice Girls fashion, and you really don't want me to sing. It's not pretty. So I'm making good progress on this one. Hopefully I can hold it up so you can see it. My line's right here. Not the most amazing progress, but I am making some progress on it. I use it frequently, but it's not an everyday thing because much like everything else, <laughs> broken record that I am, I am panning a lot of products right now, so I do have to split time on them. So this is going slowly, but I do hope to have this done by the finale. So that is everything for this update. Three rollouts, three with good progress on them, and I do think I will have an empty by the next update, which will be nice. Hopefully it's not my only rollout, but if it is, I'm okay with that too, because you know we're getting, we're getting to the point where I'm using up a lot of things. Out of 30 prompts, I have already finished 18. That leaves me with 12 to go. So of course, it's gonna slow down in progress. I'm okay with that. I do have a lot of things in here that are hard to use, but I do have some things in here that are on the easier side, like the Essence Shadows and stuff like that. So those, hopefully I will get a chance to use them for this next month and have some progress to show you next month. If you wanna get in on this project, it is not too late. Just grab the 30 prompts. They should be listed somewhere down below. You don't have to be a part of the group or anything like that. It's It would be easier if you are, but you can always grab prompts from watching other people's videos. Just pick your products, give yourself a really easy goal. If you wanna join in on it, that's cool. And I guess that is everything. Definitely go check out other people that have joined in. They're gonna be down there. There's a link to a spreadsheet of everyone that has joined in. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.